feel a little sad at the moment. Uh, I'm about to leave Nashville now. My lovely host is here. But from now, every step I take, it's now Sunday morning. And Wednesday morning, or Wednesday evening rather, I'll be on a plane back to the UK. So every step I take now is a step closer back to home. Which is always with these things, I'm kind of happy to see everyone at home, but also very sad to be leaving all my new friends in the United States. But, as I've told all of them here, I will return. If you happen to be following or supporting me on Patreon, this is basically where your money has gone in helping getting me out here. So if you really, really enjoy the channel, you've enjoyed watching all the stuff that we've done for you this week so far, um, and you'd like to see it again, consider maybe helping us out there because it really, really does matter, even if you're donating something like a, a dollar ago. Anyway, begging bowl away. Uh, I'm going to hit the road now because I've got to drive about 170 miles to a place called Cleveland, which is not Cleveland, Ohio. And then I am going off to drive one of the best known and apparently most exciting roads in the whole of the United States. Let's go. I'm quite amazed. We have already about eight, nine people here, including myself, um, including fans of the channel, just general Lotus people. Um, there's some of them. So, and we're now going to go and meet up with the, the rest of them, however many there may be. There's at least one. I know that. If it's only just one, I'll be a very happy man. I'm holding. might have turned. It has. Not in the direction I was hoping. And five minutes later, it's like this. We're now at the base of the tail of the dragon. I don't know whether you call that the head. Not sure. Big biker spot. Now we've got a bunch of cars all lined up here who are going to be joining us on the drive. One little thing I wanted to show you guys before we head off though is the apparently famous Tree of Shame, which I thought was an old hanging tree or something like that. Actually, it's much more interesting than that. Uh, it's the Tree of Monuments where people have wrecked on the road. So this is kind of a standing warning and tribute to those that have uh, lost their face, their ego, and sometimes quite a bit more uh, on this road. It's 318 curbs about 11 miles it's a pretty serious bit of road so i'm rigging up the mighty stinger uh, which looks like an old barge next to these little elise and uh, we're gonna have some fun the hills are alive with the sound of lotus I'm bringing up the rear so I can get some good shots. I also don't know this road, so, you know, I mean, a big old car, a lot heavier than these things, but I think the gear is going to impress. So a few days ago, I recorded my video talking about the Kia's ability to do over 700 miles in a day. Well, today, in many ways, is an even better test of a GT car because a real proper GT car should be the sort of thing that you can cover pretty big miles in like I did. So I did 700 miles in the day in comfort and today I've already done about 250-300 miles and now I'm going to enjoy some roads and a real GT car should be very very good at covering these kind of roads. Well, not necessarily these kinds but it should do a reasonable job so back into uh, oh, there's some behind us now, back into Tennessee I think we were in North Carolina just before. 
Oh, this is a hell of a road. very healthy but uh... the gearbox in this responds pretty good when using the paddles I gotta say I can see how you can get into a lot of trouble in here in a bike well in anything really This is a bit of the journey actually I was really indifferent about doing because everyone said to me like, oh you must do the tail, you must do the tail, and I was like, yeah really, and I looked where it was, it was kind of in the middle of nowhere, it wasn't really near anywhere I was going, but a few corners in, I am kind of glad I came here, and I'm so glad I got this car because if I was in some just, you know, rental thing, I'd probably wouldn't be having a great time, although in truth I'd probably be passengering with one of these guys, but the fact that this thing keeping up, that's fair play to Kia, you know, they've really, really thought this car through. And it's very damp out there from that shower earlier, which this area clearly got. Bits of the road are dry, bits of it are not. It's another hazard, especially for a biker, is those really mixed surfaces. Uh, Trey, who's my host in Asheville for the evening in the Red XC Series 2. I am not going to hit him. That's the car panicking and thinking I was going to hit the guy in front. I think we've caught up with traffic now. Yeah, there's a pickup up ahead. This is probably as good a time as any to reflect on this car because some trips I've had you know, a rental car is just a thing that gets you around. But for me as a car guy, I, I like cars to be something a bit more important, something integral to what I'm doing. And having this from Kia, A, it's, you know, just really, really nice and incredibly generous of them. But also it has really been the perfect car for this trip. As much as it might think I'm trying to wear an Exige as a hood ornament. Uh, the Kia has got so many positive reactions from people throughout the time that I've been here. Oh, really good thing here. People thank. People let go. People move past. Like it's something we need to pick up in England. You know. Oh, this is so good. And generally, people have been really, really enthralled with this car. <laughs> I gotta say, I am too. I got it in full sport mode now. Really, which is some of the first times that I've drove this thing in sport. I normally have it in my custom setting, which is everything in sport except the suspension, which is in comfort. But this road is really well paved. It's incredibly tight as well, very narrow road. So it's not really suited to big cars, which this certainly is. It's funny you get the photographers here. It's actually quite a good thing, I guess. Let's see if I can get a couple of snaps out of them. It's switchback after switchback. It's beautiful. This is Lotus Country, really. This is what look at this. Oh my word. Oh, that's gonna be fun coming back through. Oh, picked up a couple of hogs. Actually, the bikers that were all parked up were all uh, looking at the Lotus, they were really, really loved them. So funny thing, before this trip, I'd never driven a Series 2 Exige. Now driven two of them, 
uh, albeit one only briefly, and passengered in at least another two. And there's another couple here. They're quite a popular car over here in the Lotus world. You, see, you guys may not realize it, but they only got the Elise and Exige here for about five years, from roughly 05 to 10. So they're a very, very rare thing indeed. They stopped just after the introduction of the Series 3 Elise. They only imported like maybe a dozen or something like that of them, and then that was it. If, if you've just, if you've been a part of this trip, thank you so much because without you it simply would not have been possible. I hope you've enjoyed the content that's come out of it. If you haven't been part of it, thank you for watching and I hope you've enjoyed it. And if you're sat there insisting that I come and see you in your part of the world, wherever it may be, tell me please. If I can make it, I'll make it. And again, another big thank you to Kia. For any of you thinking, oh, well, he's just saying nice things about the Stinger because they're giving him one year to the other. Well, honestly, he was really relaxed and chilled. They haven't asked me to do anything with this car. So all the reviews and the bits and bobs that I've done with this car, I've done because I wanted to do them. Kia asked nothing of me in return for this. They're just really cool people. I mean, it means very little to people watching, I'm sure, but Kia's PR teams around the world are award-winning and with very, very good reason. They have been awesome people to deal with really really nice plus i gotta be honest it's little things like when i get to the airport out here and rather than sitting in a horrific hire car place for an hour and a half two hours trying to get a crappy hire car that i can just have a car waiting for me it's just sometimes life is really good seems like a quick burst maybe i don't know You got the worst dragon run ever. Oh, it's fine. Fucking Harleys wouldn't fall over for nothing. I know. <laughs> Normally, people are pretty good about falling over. And yeah, the pickups are all pretty good. Yeah. The Harleys are like rolling roadblocks. You'd think they would see the signs that say, This is not a Harley road. This is not no. like. They all come up here, 